Hello, robot lovers, and happy National Robotics Week. My name is Carlotta Berry, and I'm a professor of electrical and computer engineering at Rose Holman Institute of Technology in Terre Haute, Indiana. I am a member of Black in Engineering and Black in Robotics. These are both nonprofit organizations that have a mission to amplify Black STEM and to also build community and normalizing Black scientists and engineers. And today I want to talk to you about more than just a robot. They are steam-tastic. So robots can be used for all of the subjects that you take in school. They can be used for science, technology, engineering, art, and math. Steam-tastic. Get it? And that's what we're going to talk about today. So one of the coolest things about robotics is how you can make connections among all these things. So I like to call myself a nowhere STEMinist because I bring robotics and STEM to people and I bring people to robotics and STEM in order to educate and to diversify the profession. And that's what we're doing today. So we have this beautiful circle that includes our robot, me teaching you, and the connections between science, math, and art. So first, science. So the way we'll look at science today in terms of a robot is to define speed. The speed is how fast a robot moves. Think about the tortoise and the hare. The tortoise had really slow speed and the hare had really fast speed. Velocity is the speed and the direction an object moves. So it could move to the left, it could move to the right, it could move north, it could move south. And also another aspect of robotics that is science are the sensors. A sonar sensor uses sound and time of flight to detect objects so that it can avoid them or it can follow them like in wall following. So we're going to look at some of these today. So let's try it out. I have a robot image here. I have eight of them and I have indicated their velocities with these arrows. The longer the arrow, the faster the robot's going. It's a differential drive robot, so it has two wheels. So if the arrows are the same length, that's the same speed. If they're going the same direction, they're pointing the same direction. So can we match each of these images with the robot's movement? Which one is forward? That's right, it's the top middle because the velocities are the same direction and the same speed. Which one is reverse? That's right, it's the bottom right because the wheels are both pointing, the velocity is pointing backwards. Which one is spin to the right? Spin to the right because the velocities have different directions, but the same speed. Spin to the left would be the bottom middle because the velocities have different directions, but the same speed. Turn to the right because both of them have the same direction, but they don't have the same speed. And turn to the left because both have the same direction, but they don't have the same speed. And then we have pivot left and pivot right. Pivot means only one wheel is moving. So if it's a pivot to the left, it's that bottom left image. And if it's a pivot to the right, then it is that middle right image. All right, let's test it out on our robot. So robot art, one of the cool things about robots is they can also dance, they can draw, 
and they can play music. So let's take a look at a couple of examples of robots doing just those things. So now let's look at some robot math. We are going to use the circumference of a wheel for a differential drive robot in order to determine how far the robot moves in one rotation of the wheels. And then we're gonna also use time to determine the robot's velocity because the microcontroller gives the motor speed in a numeric value that does not correlate to um, speed. And we want to know the robot's speed. And now we want to find the velocity or the speed of our robot. And we know that distance equals rate times time. So we're gonna move the robot forward for a certain period of time. And then we're gonna measure how far it moved to determine its velocity for a given value on the microcontroller. But what this looks like is that since distance equals rate times time, if the robot moves forward five meters in 10 seconds, then the robot's speed would be rate equals distance divided by time or 0 0.5 meters per second. Okay, let's test it out.
So if the diameter of our robot's wheels are 2.5 inches. So if we know the robot moves forward for one full rotation of the wheels, how far did the robot move? So this is what it looks like when the robot moves one full rotation of the wheel. And we know that distance is equal to the circumference, which is two pi r. So that would be two times pi times 1.25. So the robot should move forward 7.85 inches in one full rotation of the wheel. So let's test it out. Conclusion, I want to state that it's more than just a robot. Robotics is about teamwork, problem solving, communication, design, science, technology, engineering, art, math, and having fun. So I want to end my presentation today with a video montage of some of my high school and college students doing just those things.
Monster Mash. So I want to thank you for listening as we celebrate um, the Nebraska Robotics Expo and National Robotics Week by ending and telling you that Black and Robotics is having several workshops this spring and this summer, and we'd love for you to come out. They're typically on Sunday afternoons on Zoom because they are socially distanced. And please go visit blackandrobotics.eventbrite.com to sign up. Any kids 12 and older or that inner kid who's an adult who wants to learn more about robotics, We'd love to have you. And if you want to connect with me, Black in Robotics or Black in Engineering, the best way to do it is to email me at barry123 at rosehoman.edu or follow me on Twitter or Instagram at D-R-C-A-B-E-R-R-Y or visit my website at bit.ly Barry Webb or YouTube channel at bit.ly Barry123YT or visit blackinrobotics.org's website or Twitter or Instagram, Black in Robotics or blackandengineering.org's website, or on Twitter, Instagram, at Black and Engineering. And remember, robots are steam-tastic. <laughs>